In this quick demonstration, I'll show you how to find the area of composite figures. This is part one. A composite figure is an irregular 2D figure that is attached or combined to other 2D figures. We'll start with question one. Alex is designing a patio around his pool. The following diagram shows the layout of the patio surrounding half the pool. Calculate the area of the patio so Alex can estimate how much gravel he needs to purchase. The first thing that you'll notice is that this patio would look like a rectangle if this part were complete. So what we will do is find the area of the rectangle and then subtract it from the area of a half circle. The easy part is the area of a rectangle, so we'll start with that. So step one, we're going to find the area of a rectangle, which is length times the width. The length is 20 and the width is 14. Multiplying 20 times 14 using our calculator, 20 times 14 is equal to 280. So, so far, this part right here, this completed part, is equal to 280 feet squared. The next step is to find the area of a circle and then divide it by 2. So, how do we find the area of a circle? First, we'll write down the area formula for a circle. So area of a circle is equal to pi r squared, where pi represents a number that is approximately 3.14159, and r represents the radius. Remember that radius is half the diameter. This right here is the diameter. The radius is half. Diameter here is 20, so therefore the radius has to be 10. Let's plug in what we know. Area is equal to pi and we said 20 divided by 2 is 10. Using our calculator now, and luckily for us, we do have a pi button on our calculator. It's accessed by clicking shift, this button, 10 to the power of 2. And that gives us 100 pi. Now your calculator might give you a number that looks like this. And if it does, you can write this down to up to four decimal places. It's up to you. I'm going to leave my number as 100 pi just because I want to be as accurate as possible. So I just found the area of a complete circle, but remember, we're only taking half a circle chunk out of the rectangle. So I'm going to divide this number by 2, and if I divide this number by 2, I'll get 50 pi. Now hypothetically, if you had divided this number by 2, you would have gotten 157.07, and both are acceptable. So. I found my area of a rectangle, and I found my area of a half circle. My last step, step three, is to subtract the two areas. You want to subtract the big area from the smaller area. So we have 280 feet squared minus, and by the way, this is also feet squared. So I'm going to write that in, minus 50 pi, using our calculator once more, 280 minus 50 times pi gives me 122.92, 122.92 feet squared. So what is highlighted here is 122.92 feet squared. Let's concentrate now on question two. Sabrina is designing a garden. The garden diagram below shows the layout of the garden. In the middle of the garden will be a patio. Calculate the area of the garden so Sabrina can estimate how much soil she'll need to purchase. So this part right here, the, what is highlighted in green, is what we're looking for. In the middle is a complete circle. So what we have to do is find the area of this shape, which happens to be a square because it's 8 feet by 8 feet, and then subtract it by the area of this circle. So how do we find the area of a square? Well, it's the same thing, length times the width. But if you want to be super accurate, some teachers give the formula A is equal to S squared, where S represents the side of the shape. It doesn't matter. If you use length times width, you'll still get the same answer. Using this formula, I end up with 8 to the power of 2, which is equal to 64 feet squared. Wonderful. So I just found the area of a complete square. Now I'll find the area of a circle. Using the same formula as before, a is equal to pi r squared, where r represents the radius. Remember, radius is half the diameter. 
Now since this circle spans from edge to edge, we can assume that the diameter is also 8. And if the diameter is 8, then the radius is 4. So let's use that information. Pi times 4 squared is equal to 4 times 2 is 16, 16 pi. Now, of course, if you had done this on your calculator, remember my calculator is pre-programmed to give the most accurate number. But had you done it on your calculator, you would have probably ended up with times 4 to the power of 2 gives me 16 pi or 50.26. So you might have gotten 50.26 and that is completely okay. Now I need to find what's shaded in green. So I'm going to subtract my bigger number from my smaller number. Now 64 is bigger than 50.26. So I'm going to subtract from my third step 64 minus 16 pi. 64 minus the previous answer that I got. I get 13.73. 13.73 feet squared. So what does this mean for Sabrina? This means that Sabrina needs to purchase 13.73 feet squared of soil in order to create this garden that she's looking for. And so there you have it. Two simple examples on how to find the area of a composite figure. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, visit our website at studyforce.com. We're an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.